a new favorite thing now. Hi. Hello. So, who are you talking with? Um, I'm talking to myself and the voices in my head. Oh, do you have like mosquitoes over there? We have a few mosquitoes. Huh? What? Like, uh, where do you come from? Which country? I live in the United States. Okay, awesome. Do you think it's a good country to live in? It's very dangerous for me to kind of just walk outside, so I got mixed feelings on it. I am very happy to have what I do have, and I feel very fortunate for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But every time I leave my house, I'm constantly in danger. Are you being serious? Yes. What kind of danger? Like, which state are you from? I live in the ghetto, which is pretty much everyone has guns. There's a bunch of, um, I think I live in the most dangerous part of the state I'm in, um, from, like, maps that I've looked at. Uh, there is a lot of gun violence. There is a lot of drug use. Um, there is a bunch of rapists and pedos around my neighborhood, so... Okay, so what are you afraid of? Hmm? What are you particularly afraid of the most? Like about the guns or the like the other people, like kidnappers? I have drug dealers who live right in front of my house and sometimes they be looking at my house weirdly. Ooh. Um, And I have little siblings, so I would say my family being harmed is like the most terrifying thing. Drug dealers, like okay. Okay, why don't you move into... Like, if you really don't feel safe in your place, why don't you, like, move? We are broke. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what do your parents do? Um, They work on cars. They work on? Yes, they, like, fix cars and shit. And uh, what do you do? Um, Currently, I'm unemployed because we hopefully are moving soon. But if we do move, I will be moving to... A different guardian's house so okay okay do you have so I'm like... kind of unable to get a job right now okay are you trying to get a job I'm unable to get one due to the fact that we might be moving and if it's depending on what store they may not let me transfer okay me which would make it impossible for me to go to work and I want for my record to show that I yeah something okay, is beeping fucker. I have a little virtual pet. Oh, wow. So... He's beeping at me. It just, does it beep, like, randomly? Yeah, he kind of beeps mostly if, like, he needs food or something. So how do you feed him? Um, buttons. I'm gonna go back. Oh. I'm gonna go piss. All right, enjoy your piss. Okay, Thank so... You. Do you have, like, any... Oh. Do you have like any jobs that you want to do? Any plans? Um in particular, I would like to open up my own salon one day and work on people's hairs. Oh. Uh yeah. but as of right now, I will probably be working retail if they will hire me. Why won't they hire you? Um a lot of places want people who look professional and due to my dyed hair and the way I dress, I don't really give off a professional vibe. You, you can like dye it back like uh, what's your original hair color black brown yeah black so you can dye it back to black you know yeah but then i'd have to like get it it takes like a lot of bleach to bring back that color and i don't want to get rid of the color because i like it okay then it's i dye like... my hair like all the time i love dyeing my hair okay so uh, let me can i guess your age uh, go for it. Okay, 16. So it's 16. No. Are you 16? You are 16. Really? Oh, wow. Awesome. So, that was good. Okay. So, okay. So, what do you like? What do you think the best way to earn money? For you, at least. Um. Honestly, the best way. Uh-huh. If we're talking about the best way to get quick money, that's mm -hmm. either selling drugs or something similar. Okay. It's the best way to make money. But selling drugs, is it legal over there in your state? No. No. Okay. Okay. And it can be dangerous, but that's like one of the best ways. Um, 
Yeah. Other oh. than that, hmm. the best way for me to really get money that I actually have a surefire way of getting a job at is at like this, uh, it's mm-hmm. kind of like a drug, not drug store, but like a pharmacy. Okay. Um, my mom works at like the same pharmacy and I also have a uncle who works in the same pharmacy. So I'm able to get a job there. Awesome. Do you like, do you have any problems in your life? I'm mentally ill. Are you really? You don't look mentally ill. I have a personality disorder. What does it mean? Um, it, my mood switches kind of rapid fire. Oh, like? So like my, I can be happy for like an hour, next hour, I'll be like angry for no reason. There's like no partial triggers. It just happens. Mosquito, what should I do? Hmm? A mosquito on my like bicep or hand. Arm. Should I, I kill hate it? mosquitoes. Should I kill it? I can kill it. Or I can like, like, uh, I can blow I on mosquitoes. it. I can blow on it. Or I can kill, kill it. Kill it. Kill oh. it with fire. With fire, I'm just gonna kill it with my finger. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> I'm terrified of mosquitoes. Like if you like, you. you they have... drink blood. Yeah. They are more vampiric than I am. People say I'm a vampire, but look at fucking mosquitoes. Why does nobody say anything about mosquitoes? Like if you like... They're evil. Mosquitoes are evil. Well, I don't know if they are evil or not because um, like, but they they might be evil. They are drinking your like if... But do you have like mosquitoes in your home? Hmm? Like mosquitoes you have in your home? No. Ah, Sometimes that's... they do end up getting inside the house. Uh, they sometimes come in your house but i i will say you are very fortunate that you live in a place that had that doesn't have that many mosquitoes it's more of a seasonal thing they come when it's like hotter okay, okay what but... are you talking about mosquitoes. um i am talking to someone from india yeah i was talking oh no i was saying what are we talking about we're talking about mosquitoes it's like a Why? big problem in... Because there is a mosquito on his arm. Yeah. And I say kill it with fire. It's like a big problem. Like so many people get like dengue, malaria, and they die. You, these days it's much better because it's much developed. We have mo- much more vaccines, but before like people didn't have vaccines. So these days people don't. Okay, so do you have any hobbies? Um, I like painting, drawing, more artistic wow. stuff like that. Awesome. Um. Every now and then I'll pick up the piano or the guitar after like a couple months and start practicing again. Um, I can only play like two songs on the piano though. Um, and the guitar, I'm still struggling to like figure out how to like properly get the right noise. Okay, the right, uh, you would not say noise, you would say the right uh, rhythm or tone. Like the right tone, because when you strum a guitar, mm-hmm. um, you kind of have to figure out the proper way of strumming it or the sound won't be as clear. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. Okay. I don't know. But let me ask you a question about like skin color. Okay. In India, like the, you will find a lot of creams like fair and lovely or uh, fair perfect or something. So in India, people really believe like most of the people that white skin or like light skin looks much better than darker skin okay does that have to deal with like a purity thing because i know it's like that in um what what does it have to do with i don't know does it have to do with because in some places i know some people prefer a paler skin tone because it kind of is supposed to be more like purity and innocence it's totally possible i think it has to do with superiority superiority kind of like if you if you are like like if you are like from a like a uh, in most of the cases like uh, if you are from a poor like it's yeah if you are from a poor background you have to work in the sun and basically it's basically that Uh. kind of thing but it actually do you know what causes the this difference what causes this difference do you know any idea so uh, so you live in like uh, do you know like tropical tropical country 
tropical um i live where it's pretty much very hot it's really? very sunny yes but, but you are like wearing like a sweatshirt or something what are you wearing yeah so um, it's not really hot over there it is hot i just don't like wearing short sleeves i cause my own suffering at this point okay okay but the but in like colder places the sun is generally heat like in a, like a slant angle so there is not much formation of melanin and melanin is like a uh, pigment that if you have darker skin you have more melanin so melanin is the pigment which protects you from too much sun so yeah so that's the reason but over there you don't need that much melanin because you need to absorb the sun so yeah you are perfect for your place i'm perfect for my place so it's like evolution you know all i know is like my parents are much more um tanned than i am i'm very pale mostly compared to them i'm like in a sheet of paper well it's it's you are like in india you will be considered very beautiful you know because of your skin color i think that's dumb so what skin color do you like no no, no choice no cho yeah yeah but in india it's so racist in, like in india like in india like when we start like when we were very little in the school like yeah, the teachers would say that yeah he looks so beautiful because he's so like fair fair or something but it was so racist and we didn't understand and some mothers and in india like if you are a girl indian girl you are basically have brown uh, skin and they your mother your parents try so hard uh that so that you don't get like darker skin so that you get married in a wealthy family stuff like that is <laughs> that kind of stuff is no I, so stupid to yeah, me i'm never I, going to understand the whole like skin tone thing skin tone but th that's the truth like fair and lovely in india you you have some creams like fair perfect stuff like that so that you can uh, make your skin even lighter like in indian indian people <laughs> yeah i don't think i'm ever going to understand that but yeah it's like yeah it has to do with beauty or superiority and you said like um purity because i've had friends who have admitted that they wish they were like whiter or paler hmm. and i'm just like but you look so pretty and beautiful as you are right now why would you want to change that yeah they are like you will find dark models brown models all kinds of models you can find that's true but yeah but some societies don't like they some culture some so societies treat whiteness as beautiful so it's like a choice like how you look at it and stuff okay so like you said you are broke so have you ever been to any other country um no but i have traveled to other places within uh the united states okay which place like which place did you like the most Uh, I don't. I don't really have like an opinion. Okay. okay. Like, like every place has its upsides, but its downsides as well. Mm -hmm. Um, like mm -hmm. one of the states I went to, the people drove crazy. That scared me. Um, they had like weird laws about alcohol. which i'm not really as concerned of but at the same time it's kind of stupid the roads are very messed up okay. um okay and i almost got attacked by a bear there you got attacked by oh. i almost got attacked by a bear okay but it well got to be careful wild animals they're stick they're scary There's like a um there was like a mother bear and then like a baby bear. Oh. Okay. And the you know the mothers are protective and the cub kept coming closer and closer to me and I'm like no but cuz you're not supposed to move when you see a bear. So I'm just standing still as I'm watching the cub come closer to me and the mother bear starts looking at me and I'm just like shit. Like you're not supposed to turn your back like if a bear is looking at you or some animal is looking at you you're not supposed to turn your back. in some circuses they wear clothes and in the back you will see a face because yeah like they are dealing with like big cats like tigers similarly bears it, 
you are not supposed That's to turn your really back. interesting to me i didn't know that yeah you are not supposed to turn your back don't turn your back like like if you are seeing a big animal and i just know you're not supposed to move um yeah you are not supposed to turn your like yeah and if you don't move yeah that's a good idea like yeah i was watching a video on youtube uh well there are... i know that thing can outrun me i have asthma well well do you need the inhalers uh sometimes uh, so so uh, what what are your doctors telling you to do to get rid of your asthma i don't go to doctors okay okay so what you can do is like more aerobic exercises i guess like more exercises i think would help you well so so you have youtube and you can really look these things up like your problems like like yeah, you can grab like a piece of paper and a pen and you can note down what problems you have and whatever you could fix you would fix like if you go with that mentality you will you will you will no longer will be, like you will do a lot of things in your life united states is a very good country rich country so if you just keep yourself together you uh, you will not die hungry or homeless nothing like that will happen with you well i am i am just uh, giving you like extreme examples so <laughs> i think your parents are together um they are divorced um but due to that i do have two extra parents my step parents oh. Okay. um so it's kind of like bonus parents okay okay they are they good good take good care of you then it's a good thing it's a they're good very thing. sweet they're sweeter than my original parents oh, wow, wow wow do you know what do they like the most about you or did hmm. they adopted you or something huh like did they like adopted you um no my parents um both still share custody of me so mm. none of my step parents have like any custody over me but yeah okay currently i live with my dad and my stepmom but oh. i will be moving in with my mom soon okay so. okay okay so uh, one week with your dad one week with your mom how does it work um Normally I'll visit like every now and then the other family on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um but it's kind of hectic at this house. There oh. are six children, um oh. two dogs and you know two adults and uh -huh. it can kind of get really hectic so I decided I wanted to move in with my mom mm -hmm. so that way less children, less hectic, kind of be able to focus on my school more. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Focus on your uh, any any uh, focus on your studies. Good idea. Get a good degree good college degree that would be great well that yeah so no really most of the cases college degrees it's better to have college degrees most of the cases some people are over confident um, and they unfortunately, don't unfortunately i'm not really much of a school person okay. i can't really study okay. like that so okay. i'm probably not going to go to college because i don't want to okay. waste money oh okay fine um, fine uh i guess i guess. but i think if you can there are like these trade schools that mm -hmm. are kind of they kind of um uh, what there's about like the, trade schools uh -huh. for hair which is what i wanted to go to i don't know a lot about like where you live so i cannot uh, guide you that well so you have to uh, you have to listen to like uh, good people and have to take your decisions for yourself you know and then like so do you, do you then what do you like to do if you don't like to study any subject um, you like prefer i mean history is pretty cool i history. like learning about history mm -hmm. um history is like i do find it funny though on how because i've always had teachers tell me in history yeah the reason we learn history is so we don't repeat the same mistakes yeah, same mistakes yeah yeah. everywhere in history people are constantly discriminated for being different and it still happens it happens but it's getting much better this day it is people, but still it's kind of like people are, people are getting educated about their rights and when you know your rights then you can say that no it's it's very big thing children uh, most most uh, if you like uh, like abuse children so, they most of the times don't even realize that they are getting abused like like uh yeah so stuff like that so yeah history like a lot of philosophers philosophers have said that history is the most important thing in the world or most important subject so i'm actually real i really love um reading and listening to philosophy i find it 
a really interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And I like that it's not something that, like, it's not like you can prove it or disprove it. It's just that thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, And that's one of my favorite things about it, that it's not like... um, Right. There's nothing factual or like opinion about it. It's just a thought process. Uh, in history, or everywhere. Philosophy. Philosophy. Okay. Yeah. Philosophy is like a thought process for different philosophers. But yeah. But I read really like English. So, but in English, yeah, English. Yeah. Do you like English? Like reading stories or something. Not really. I suck at reading. Oh, you, you okay? You you are not like, what do you mean? You are not that good at re- good of a reader or something? Like I can read and I can like, mm-hmm. yeah. But sometimes when I'm reading, I kind of mm-hmm. like my brain moves the words and changes the sentence. If that makes sense. I don't know what's or happening randomly, with your brain. I don't know what's happening. It's kind in your of brain. hard to explain. Um, okay. So, but sometimes when I'm trying to read, like, you know, going, like, trying to read a line, I'll start reading, like, sideways. You can read that. You can read. What's written? Diary. Yeah, you can read. So if Yeah, you... I can read. But, like, if I'm trying to read, like, sentences, my brain uh, will start, like, reading diagonal oh. for some reason. Or, like I said, it'll move the words mm. around or the letters Are and you, like, change the words. Are you, like, dyslexic or something? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Like, it... It happens with, I think, dyslexic people. Do you know? Have you heard the term dyslexic? I do know um, what dyslexic means, and I have mm-hmm. met people who are dyslexic, but yes, I also don't know if my thing has to do with my ADHD. Oh, you have you also have ADHD? Yeah. Do you take ADHD, ADHD and BPD. ADHD and? BPD. Okay. So, like, do you take any any form of medication for ADHD? Nope. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's necessary. If you if you believe me, I don't think it's necessary. I feel like it's kind of um, it depends. For some people, it's helpful, and some people need like yeah. the right type of medication. Yeah. And it takes a little experimenting, but I'm unmedicated. I do kind of want medication, but my parents won't allow me to. So uh, you you, you seem totally like normal to me. You know. Hmm? You seem totally normal to me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm you. normally... <laughs> if you didn't I'm say normally I have... called a freak a lot, so... Who calls you a freak? Um, people. What people? Where? Um, me and my friend um went to the park this weekend, and some random people go mm. by, and they just yell the word emo at us. Email. Emo. Emo. It's kind of like, it's supposed to be like a way of making fun of people who dress in dark clothing. Okay, okay, okay. But it actually is like a subculture of both fashion and music put together in a way. Um, which I don't, I don't think I was even dressed like that that day. Um, all right, all right. But you just like, don't respond to like you just like it used to happen with oh me. i just ignore like, it mm, yeah just focus that's why i just business. tell them to suck a dick and uh, no, just don't yeah just don't respond to these people like if you respond to these people they they get like more pleasure out of it and stuff like that like if either you don't respond to it like uh, that's the way i go with it like i just okay i'll tell you what i do the like, thing i find funny about it though it's like they'll comment call someone emo for just wearing like a black t-shirt or oh. something or just having different colored hair okay dad hair okay. and then just like start calling them a bunch of slurs okay are they like boys girls or like any both sp- both oh my but in it's pretty cool in india in, in multiple india. ages <laughs> multiple <laughs> ages like old people old people also do that um, they don't call me like em- they might call me a freak or they might just downright be scared of me and call me a devil worshiper. Okay. You just I, I, well, if you didn't say I have ADHD something or something, I, I could not have even known that you are like you have ADHD or like PT or what, what is that PPT or stuff like that. So 
Well, if you were to, like, hang out with me for, like, a good day, you would probably be able to tell the BPD thing because my mood's just rapid cycle sometimes, mostly when I'm having a manic episode. But um, this is one of the things I get called a devil worshiper for. Oh, what, what is that? What That's blood? Yeah. Is it human blood or? No. Then? You know? Do you know? Uh, it's the mosquito's blood. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I hate mosquitoes. Like these are like the worst in the in nature, nature's. But do you know there are a lot of benefits of having mosquitoes? Do you know that? I hate mosquitoes. Can you can I you? But what blood is this? Um, I'm just gonna stick with mosquitoes because I find it funny. But how did you get it? There must be a story behind it. Uh, the story is unavailable. <laughs> Okay, so you do not, you don't know, or you don't want to tell. Um, I just will not be sharing such stories. Okay, you are okay, but like, uh, can you think of any? Uh, like, did you okay? Let me know one thing that did you find that blood by yourself or somebody somebody else has something to do with this? Yourself. Both, kind of. Okay, let, let's just keep it.